Welcome to another junk fooding and R&D W adventures. I'm Daryl and I'm Renee and today we've got some turtle chips that we found from uh, at the grand opening of a new store for us. It's an Asian market not necessarily for food but with Asian Novelties. fun stuff yeah at the uh, mall near us so we were kind of excited to try it out. Right. These I, don't have real turtles in them. No there's no turtles in these however I think we've already tried some turtle chips before because I want to say we got turtle chips from uh, H Mart. This oh, is that's from possible. Miniso. Right. Very interesting set of flavors that we're trying today because right. we have the uh, sweet corn flavor. Okay. We have seaweed flavor. We have the uh, Chocolate churro flavor. And we have OMG. I don't and, know what yeah, flavor. And we have the OMG flavor, which is mala. No idea what that means. I'm not sure. But I figure we'll start with this one because this is the one that's supposed to be like hot. Okay. Does it smell hot? I do not like the smell. Okay. It smells like corn. Old yeah, they're just like corn fun. chips, but they're just like little wrapped up corn fluffs. Well, I like the texture of them. Taste is not, not bad. Barbecue. I can't figure out what it is. It's not quite barbecue. It is like a chili flavor. I like it. But it's a kind of sweet chili flavor. Mm -hmm. It's surprisingly good. Not quite barbecue. There's a little bit of a zing at the end. Yep. I'm going to give that a four. Me too. I like it. It's surprisingly good. All right. Hey, I don't remember liking it uh, or disliking them before. So I don't remember. That was quite the surprise. I like that one. It was. But we're going to, we're going to move now to the seaweed flavor, which I don't think I'm going to like. I don't think you will either. Remember that I do have a, a seafood allergy, so this could be interesting. Just have one. Yeah, Don't just do one. More. But again, same basic chip, but it's got the it's very seaweed coating. The sea, you know, sprinkle on. It's it. like a corn chip, but it's very light, more like like a bugle, but lighter, mm -hmm. like a thin bugle. Mm. This very much has that like bugle like flavor. Them. Yeah, but it very much has that like when you get the seaweed strips. I love it. This is a little bit of garlic. This is definitely a fishy, seaweedy oh, taste to me. I'm, I'm only going to give it a three. I'm giving it a four. I really like it. It is good. Mm -hmm. I just don't like that fishy taste. It's very taste. salty, but I like it a lot. Yeah. Let's try, what's this one? That's the choco churro. Oh, okay. But we're going to try instead just the plain corn. sweet corn. Which you probably still, maybe it'll be okay because it's a... Ooh, this is not just the corn this is actually like sweetened you can smell like a honey on it oh i don't think it's honey but it has like a cotton candy almost Ooh. smell i really like this mm -hmm. i don't know what to make of that taste. i have no idea what it is but i really like it it's not quite honey but it is sweet it tastes like creamed corn Although, okay. I don't really like creamed corn. I'm going to give this a four. It's good. I don't think I could do a lot of it. No. But I can see this as like part of a parfait or something like that being really, really tasty. Interesting. I mean, there's definitely sugar, but I can't figure out... And molasses. Okay. Which is probably part of why I like that flavor. Right. But it's, yeah, I like that one. That's... Pretty darn good. All right. Then we'll move on to the one that I don't expect to like because they're chocolate churros. Churros would be all over it. Right. Chocolate, not so much. Right. It smells kind of like Cocoa Puffs. And they're almost sticky. Ew. They're actually not that bad. They're not. 
I don't know if they're that good. You want another one? Maybe. It tastes... The thing that this has going for it is it tastes more like it has the chocolate syrup soaked into it rather than cocoa powder put on top of it. I was going to say, this almost reminds me of like a, uh, a Mexican hot chocolate without the zing of the... I would put this on ice cream. Yeah. Again, this... Actually, both of those two mm -hmm. would be really good mm -hmm. mixed with the right ice cream. Not and the ones we have in our freezer right now. No, no, I think cream. so. But mm. let's start by rating it for what it is. I'm actually going to give this a four. I'm giving it a four. Now, a little bit of inside knowledge. We have uh, cinnamon ice cream in the freezer right now. I think that this with that cinnamon ice cream. Right, I was thinking could of be the really other one. Good. This could be really good. No, the other. Cinnamon. We have a... Uh, Apple something. Yeah, it's an apple cider and donuts. Yeah, I don't think this would That's be good with that. That's not going to work well. But this might be good with just cinnamon. Yeah, the cinnamon one, I think this is going to go very well. You know what else this would go with? When the time comes and that peppermint ice cream comes out. I don't think this would be good on the peppermint ice cream, but I do like where you're going with that. We'll save that one for later, though. Check out the other videos that we've got on the channel over here. Click the subscribe and the bell icon if you like those. But also... This playlist over here is a lot more of the junk fooding, so if you like the taste test stuff, we got a ton of it over there.